Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching my video. Y'all, this is very, very emotional time for me right now because as y'all all know, I have a son, a very, very dark skinned son, and I worry about him all the time, even though him and I are not exactly friends right now my love for my son will never ever ever change but with all this stuff going on throughout our country i'm at a loss of words kind of sort of because the words that i do have are not very um good they're not positive so i'm not even going to share them with you guys but I'm feeling kind of salty about the praying and stuff and this is something that's really funny I want to share with you guys real quick it's like when we were, my parents were raising us they always raised us to be you know God filled and pray through everything and put it in God's hands and I don't care how much my mother and father I obeyed them but I never ever felt that way in my heart and I know according to the Bible which they wrote <laughs> that you know it always said we're supposed to forgive you know <sighs> but with it constantly constantly happening over and over and over again and these are just the ones that are reported that are caught on camera there are so many more cases that occur every day throughout this entire country that don't even get reported nobody even knows what happened to these people but i'm trying to think of words where in my heart and i'm very very on the fence about it because I never felt like that. I never felt peaceful in my heart. I always felt like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, you know? And it's just such an unfair system that we live in today, you know? And to have to walk around here in fear every day of your life from selling cigarettes on the street to, you know, assuming somebody's carrying around Ford forge money which they were not you know and then having people treat you like in ways that you don't even treat animals you people kick up more fuss and y'all know who I'm talking about if you're not one of them then don't get offended by it but the ones that do y'all get more upset over abusing animals than you do over abusing black people and I'm furious I'm hurt, I'm angry, and you could talk and distract the issue with the looting and stuff, but you know, that's not the issue that's at hand. The issue at hand is why are those people out there looting? Why do you think they're looting in their own neighborhoods? Because what do you want them to do? Get on buses and go into your neighborhoods and loot and destroy everything? This is where they live. This is where they are. That's why they're tearing up their own stuff, okay? But they're only doing it because that's all the weapons that they have against this police brutality that's going on through our throughout our country, okay? And you keep hiring these KKKs, you know, to be police officers, giving them guns and badges and telling them to go out there, kneel on that animal's neck and, until he's dead, until you choke the hell out of him. <sighs> I have so many, so many white friends that I just adore and love and always have because we were raised in a predominantly white area. My best friends are white. So I'm not talking to y'all. I'm not talking to white people who don't treat people like this. I'm talking to the white people who do. I'm talking to all the white people that turn a blind eye, that says, oh, it's not my son. It's not happening to my family. It's not my husband, my son, my nephew, my cousin. I'm talking to y'all. Those are the white people that I'm talking to because as long as y'all continue to turn your eyes to what's going on in this country to black and brown people, they're going to continue to do it. 
all you people that are in government hires and y'all keep on letting this stuff go on oh well we got to see more of the tape what more of the tape do you have to see other than that ass kneeling on a man's neck for how long until he killed him that could have been my son y'all that could have been my son if you love me you love my son how can y'all keep on sitting around and turning your heads to this and say oh you know he deserved it Ahmad being chased down through Georgia neighborhoods by KKK's oh we got to see more of the tape we got to have more you know evidence Brianna being killed in her own home by mistake who cares she was black Sandra Bland being hung in a in a jail because she didn't respect a white cop Eric Garner being choked out because he was selling cigarettes on the street how much more of this and let's not forget our baby Trayvon Martin walking down the street with a pack of Skittles and a, a, a iced tea and freaking y'all let that man go even though you told him to stay in the house. Come on, stand your ground. Stand your ground what? <sighs> Driving while black. Walking while black. Spending your money while black. Grilling while black. Playing in the park while black. What? 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 We go and we create our own neighborhoods. We create our own communities. And you come in and you burn those down. And you destroy those. What do you want from us? If you could push us to uh, up the ends of the earth. And let us have our own world and our own communities. You still come and destroy that. You don't want us in your neighborhoods. You don't want us to be equal to you. Okay, fine. Does that mean that you have the right to just take our lives, especially our black men, our black boys? <sighs> I didn't come on to do this recording today, but I had a feeling it was going to come out because I've been feeling some kind of way, some kind of way about all this. And I have so many police officers that I consider friends from working in certain places here in my town, Cracker Barrel and Biscuitville, and I adore them. White, black, green, yellow, male, female. I consider them my friends. I thank them for all that they do. And yet, I'm so conflicted because I don't want to just say, Oh, like y'all say, all black people. I don't want to say all police because I know that's not true. The issue is the police that are. That's what we want to focus on. How can we rid the police force throughout this country of all these racial, oh, I fear for my life. You're in the wrong business. You're in the wrong business. You have been given a gun and a badge to enforce the law. And all that we ever hear is, oh, I feared for my life. Because he was black. That woman in Central Park, in the park with the, with the dog. Did y'all just see that? That's just the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And y'all know, one phone call can get a black person killed. Especially if you're white making that phone call. <sighs> I don't know what to say, y'all. I'm so hurt. This is not acceptable. It's not. We are not animals. We are just as human as you are. We bleed. We, we die just like you do. I mean, just because our melanin in our skin is, is more prevalent than yours does not mean that we are animals. We are human beings just like you. And this country was built on our backs, okay? Most of the things that you guys enjoy, all of us enjoy every day today, is, was created by a black person. I know y'all don't care. 
who cares? 99.9% .9 of all white people have droplets of black blood in their coursing through their veins, whether they want to admit it or not. You've got black blood running through your veins, just like we have white blood running through our brain, our our uh, veins, because the races were mixed. We were disgusting. We were belittled, but that never stopped your men from, yeah, know, cohabitating with the with the winches, the winches, you know. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Anybody that takes offense to this video, that means you're on their side. Anybody that understands how I'm feeling and how my people are feeling right now, then you know what we're talking about and you won't take offense to this because I'm not singling any person out. You know who you are. You know who you, how you feel about this situation and you know every time you turn a blind eye to these situations, you're part of the problem. Um, I appreciate you guys letting me rant. I needed to get this off my chest. Black lives matter, y'all. All lives matter. But right now, black lives matter. Focus, people. Focus. Thanks, guys.